I learned the basics of Unreal Engine and this is what I made as my first project. I always wanted to learn Unreal Engine, but it always looked very difficult and complicated. I tried following some tutorials, but never finished them. Then I did with UE what I did with Blender. Follow a tutorial with a project. That's the best way to learn a software. So I followed Unreal Sense's basic beginner's tutorial on Unreal Engine. So after learning everything from the tutorial, I made this. This scene is very simple, nothing special in it. Here is the reference image. This is what I had in my mind. The scene setup was pretty straightforward. Download some assets from Quixel Bridge, put them in their place, adjust camera, lighting and done. A simple project is how I think everyone should start to learn something. Like a donut in Blender. But I did run into some problems despite trying to keep the scene simple. To start off, I placed the big rocks or cliffs to make the cave entrance. But somehow, the light was leaking through the back. I tried turning on the back face curling, playing with shadow options etc. But didn't work exactly as I wanted. Then I started placing the small rocks and other details closer to the camera. Change the colors to the brown hue. One thing that really annoyed me was the orbiting of viewport camera. It orbits around the cursor and not around the selected object. That makes it difficult to navigate as you keep focusing on framing the selected object to keep it centered. I couldn't find the option to fix the orbit of the camera. We'll find it again later. Or if you know how to do it, let me know in the comments. Next was to add grass. I had downloaded a variety of grass and used them to paint the land part. Yes, I painted over the rocks as well, as initially I wanted to go for the exact look in the reference image. Throughout the project, I kept playing with what kind of lighting I wanted. My main goal for lighting was that the sun should shine and light up the inside of the cave entrance. But due to light leaking, I wasn't able to do that. By the way, I am using UEFI's Lumen technology for lighting and it is really impressive. Getting that global illumination in real time and maintaining high FPS is really amazing. So only one sunlight or direction light was enough for the whole scene. Seeing photorealistic lighting in real time, incredible. Also with Nanite, one can use very high poly assets easily without any performance issues. It really blows my mind how UE does it. To make the water, I initially went for a plane with water material, but it wasn't looking that nice. So instead, I went with a water add-on that comes with UE. I again forgot to record that part. So let me just tell you briefly, to make the stones in and around the water look wet, just decrease the roughness to something like 0.1, that is, make them shiny. Now of course the water can't be blue here, and I did try to change that, but it just wouldn't change. I tried so many options, and none of them changed the color. It should have been muddy, brownish water, but I had to settle for the blue hue. I spent a lot of time to get the lighting right, but light leaking was really bothering me. Some angles look great, but weren't lighting up the inside of the cave. I anyway settled with it and started setting the camera animation to finalize the scene. And the next day, I said no, this is not what I want. Let's make what I had imagined. So I went back and downloaded some new assets to rearrange the scene and to fix the light leak. 
Next, I had to remake the cave with new assets. I raised the land around to stop the light entering the cave through the walls. I had to redo the placing of the rocks. The light was still shining through the back of the rock on the ceiling or the upper part of the cave. So I placed the plane over the whole area to just fully close it. I know it's not the perfect solution, but since this isn't a game map, just a short cinematic shot, everything not seen in the camera is okay. You can get away with it. Place the water once again and again try to change the color of it, but couldn't. Now just finishing up. Last few touch ups. Time to do the camera animation. My initial thoughts were to do everything inside UE only. All the post processing, film grain, blur, dirt, chromatic aberration, etc. using UE's built in features. As you can see, the inside of the cave is way too dark and playing with the exposure wasn't giving me the result I wanted. So I decided to render it out and do the post touch ups in DaVinci Resolve. I did use the depth of field though. Blue water. Uh, can't do anything about it. Next time, maybe. So let's render and hop into DaVinci Resolve. There is the render, and the auto exposure ruined it. Due to automatic exposure, the first few frames were adjusting the exposure. So I went back to fix it and re render back into Resolve. Now, I am not an expert in post production, I just do things the way I like it. This is not a pro colorist or compositor workflow, okay? So the first node is to convert the footage from linear to sRGB. Second node, I adjusted the curve to boost the shadow and midtone to light up the scene a bit. Next, I added the film grain overlay on top of the footage because it is too clean and to give that camera look. Then I added the fake chromatic aberration. I really like to add film grain and CA in CG footage as that makes it feel more like non-CGI. Another note to add the film damage effect but using it for a very subtle effect. And that's it. This is the end result. Finally, my first UE project is done will make some more things to get used to working on UE. Highly recommend watching Unreal Senses tutorial. That guy is great at teaching. It's a 5 hours long free tutorial and he goes over every basic thing you need to learn to start creating something in UE. So this is done. Check out other videos in my channel. I got my own tutorials too if you are interested. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.